What's up my friend? In this video we are going to solve a crack me challenge which is called Nazem Crack. The language is assembler. Uh, the platform is Linux R64 bit. The link of this crack me will found this in the description. So let's get started. Alright, I have my gate right here. I'm going to open this uh, file. This is the name of the file Nazem Crack. Alright, double click. Analyze, yes, I want to analyze, then yes. All right, let's get started. So here we have our assembly code and here our, our decompile code, all right? So, but before diving into the assembly code, let's test our program, all right? So, dot, na, dot slash nazm crack. Here, they want from us a password. For example, let's, en let's enter password like this, wrong. Again, something like one, two, three, wrong. All right. So the solution is to reverse engineer this program. All right. Let's analyze the code and try to find the password. All right. So let's start from the beginning. Here in the entry point, we are calling this code. So as you can see here, move ax1, move edi1, move rsi, the uh, the pointer of message. All right. Our message, which is here, enter your password. All right. Then the length of the message. So the first thing. As we can see when we run the program, we have this message which is enter your password. Great. Let's move. Then we have another syscall which is read. So we have here move ax0, move adi0, move rsi input. So this input, it's a like we can name it a buffer in the dot .bss segment. So this is an initialized buffer without any values. All right. Then, ha then here we have the length of how many data we want to enter and save it in this buffer. All right. Then we call in our syscall. Right, so because as we see, when we have this message, they want from us an input. All right, so for example, let's enter hello. Then in this step, he check the program check this string with the password that he uh, it have in the in, in the program. All right, then depend on this uh, comparison, it give you wrong because the password is wrong. All right, let's continue. Then we have this. We move the password which is the correct password in the RDI register good then we move the input in the RSI the input that we enter it all right then we move another thing which is the E0XP which is the length I guess of the password in the ECX good all right here as we can see we have this instruction which is comparison I guess B so CMPCB all right let's search about this instruction in the go in Google so we have cm pcb instruction all right uh, our tutorial point so the cm pc instruction uh, compares two string compares two string this instruction compares two data all right and then uh, it sets the flux accordingly all right as we can see let's close this top all right so as we can see the compiled code of this line is here we have this while loop we check if this variable is equal to zero or one all right and here we have this uh, if condition uh, if we get to the like to the uh, i guess to the end of the string which is the non terminator zero then here we have the elvar uh, uh, we, are in, we are decreasing our elvar and then here comparing the first string with the second string and saving the result which which can be either zero if they are if they, they are not equal to each other or one if they are equal to each other in the in zf uh, variable then we are increasing increment the two uh, uh, strings then here we have a condition if the in zf is equal to zero or one all right depending on this we uh, depending on this we continue the loop or gazing out from this while loop then here in this f condition all right which equal to this this uh, this jump so here we have jump if equal to zero so if the flag is equal to zero then jump this this correct function so what is the meaning of jump if equal to zero it means that the two strings are equal there is no difference between these two strings which is the password and the input that we enter it then we are going to jump to this to this uh, like this function correct func 
uh, it's calling a write function and it prints the correct message then it's uh, getting out from the program by this uh, this exit this call all right let's continue then the else if the like the password doesn't equal the input we have another thing all right that we are printing the wrong password then exiting the program but here the question where is the password so easy he is in the dot data segment so by clicking on this password here we are going to reach the dot data segment and find the password but here the simple program we have just to define the data here so char here also data and char all right as we can see this is our password this is our wrong our wrong message and this is our correct message right so we have here super super secret so let's try to enter it in our program so super secret good correct password all right i know uh, this program it's so fucking easy so but but this is just the beginning we are going to level up our crack me challenge in the next video so i hope you understand or learned something from this video see you in the next challenge peace